Hello, members of the Proximity, be you lurkers or be you archaeologists. My name is John Proxy, and I'm on a PlayStation 2. That's because I'm about to begin a Fatal Frame adventure. And we're going to play it in English. The spookiest language. I'm not going to keep this light on, because uh, it's, it's, a, it's a lamp. It's, 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 it's a goddamn lamp. But, uh... Yeah, it's a spooky lamp of spookiness. We'll put it, we'll put it down for the time being. So yes, this is Project Zero, otherwise known as Fatal Frame. I think more commonly known as Fatal Frame, which is why it's, it's why I've, I'm labelling it Fatal Frame. I could have done both. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd start playing some spooky, spooky games on a spooky, spooky Thursday, the spookiest day of the week. Because uh, ah, uh, th th Thor. It comes from Thor, doesn't it? And he's he's got something to do with lightning and lightning's power. Yeah, anyway, uh, let's stop faffing and go into let's turn it to 60 hertz. Makes me feel better being on 60 hertz, it does. We're gonna click on new game, we're gonna dive right in, and we're gonna we're gonna pretend that I didn't spend five minutes restarting the game till I got my introduction correct. That's totally a thing that did not happen. You just imagined it. <gasps> I have options. Okay. Let's exit the options with my triangle button playing on an xbox controller let's just start again i wonder how long it's been since my how long it's and been I began to see things other people can't see <gasps> it's that instrument from the start of um ghost in the shell my big brother he was so sweet and kind. He was the only one I could open up to about these visions. After our mother died, he was my only family. This girl's heavily sedated, right? 1986, September the 24th. So, um... What I'll do for next time. So this is Himuro Mansion. Ah, oh, this is be before we we had voice actors, isn't it? Project Zero. I mean, Fatal Frame. So what I'll do for next time is I'll um, project a version without the borders, without the without the widescreen bits, My and I can switch between between them. Someone. I can probably do. I'll do that after the cutscene. Jinsei, novelist and a man my brother was very indebted to disappeared while researching a book when he told me that he got a lead on Mr. Takamine's whereabouts testing testing okay <laughs> Like he was going far away. There we go. There's the the Himero intro. So yes. So if you give me a minute. doing research into them. I wonder if his group is still here. Yes, indeed. Right, I am Himuro. I'm a I'm dude. I have a light source. And I think I have a camera as well. Uh, it shakes when I point in that direction. I'm just going to point at you guys. Hello. Hello. What I'm going to do very quickly is I'm going to add a new source to my OBS because uh, I can just do this right now, right? Uh, display capture, window capture. Uh, what's it called? Well, I'm playing this on. Uh, uh, let's just call it PS2. All right, I'm playing this on an emulator. Uh, and what is this? Oh, my! My light's just gone out. Hot spooky. Uh, cool. It is doing that correctly. 
Okay, so you can see that's full screen. It shouldn't be full screen. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the sides so whenever we're in a cutscene, I can show more of the uh, background image. Uh, where, where are you? Where's PS2? Is it gone? Yeah, it sh certainly shouldn't be down there. Uh, you should be right next to there. Cool. Uh, uh, but I can't... I probably shouldn't faff around with that now. I certainly shouldn't faff around with that now, John. John, what are you doing? John, are you faffing around with that now? You faffing around with crop? You are. That looks distinctly like you're doing a, uh, like a crop on the fly. I don't think you can do a crop on the fly. That would require you knowing the actual numbers involved. Oh, God. But I got it. You did it. You, you cropped on the fly. You madman. Right. So let's say like there. Right, let's turn that off though, because we're not using that right now. Anyway, we now have a, 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 a roughly, a, a roughly a square version and roughly a widescreen version. There we go. That didn't involve too much faff at all. Let's look at the buttons. We can return to the game. Cool. We can go into the options, uh, and uh, we're gonna keep. We're gonna just keep everything the same for the time being. Let's not confuse ourselves. Uh, we can move. Or we can control our uh, our torch, our flashlight, if you prefer. My trigger buttons do they do nothing. Fair enough. Uh, we have a book. Oh God, there's a clock. Am I being timed? Uh, okay. Well, that, that, that's disconcerting. A goes into the map, which shows me nothing. But we are on the first floor of the mansion because we're in a spooky game. Of course, we're on the fourth floor. Of the mansion, where else would we be? We have some herb, delicious herbal medicine, restores a little energy, like my, come my cup of tea does. Mmm, tastes like I've faffed around for twenty minutes and it's cold. What else do we have? Uh, we have a camera. Uh, Mom left it when she died. It shows things unseen by the naked eye. Cool. That's. Uh, we have some film. Some film. 48. Oh, so I shouldn't be fucking around with this film. Uh, I've only got 48 of them. Okay, what else? I have no photos. I like that there's a protect button. That seems very forward thinking, so you don't accidentally delete them, I assume. You like, laminate them on the spot. It's pretty good. File. I have no files. Uh, and I have apparently have no camera. Right, that was the triangle button. Uh, so, how did I even get in here? Okay, there's something spooky in this direction. Oh, yes. So this is the frame. It's the fatalist frame. I'm just going to click off screen because it's showing like a red box on my screen. I don't want to see. Uh, and then I'm going to click back on it. This is, yeah, the, the titular fatal frame. I can walk about in first person. I did test this out very briefly before to see if the game actually worked. Uh, so what I'm doing is I need it to do a little bump. I think. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, apparently I'm just gonna about turn, which is a thing. Okay, what I might want to do is I'm. Ah, huh, that's strange. I might want to turn it to. Um, yeah, that's a thing. Let's... Cool. Uh, so, yeah, I've only got 47. Ah. Yeah, like, I might... Hello, Uchi. I might want to do, like, uh, aeroplane controls. I don't know why. Suddenly, when I get in first person like this, I'm not 100% certain I want it to be. I should have probably just gotten closer. How do I turn that off? Okay. Okay, so we've definitely taken a picture of this. Oh, there's a, like a thing saying, do, do this thing. See, but I've, I've got... I don't mind janky controls. I think it helps sometimes. Okay, I just want to make sure I've investigated this direction. Oh, this is how I got in. 
cool. Do I have a button that makes me... I do, I've got a light jog button. I... There's a... Like a thing in the ground I'm kind of interested in. Is that a candle? Doesn't hold a candle to you viewers. Right. There's a hole. Uh, is that the thing I took a picture of? There's going to be many questions. I'm asking all of the questions right now. Oh, is that what I took? I took a picture of that, didn't I? Uh, let's go back to the menu. I got no score for this. Should I delete it? Huh. Right. We're gonna... Uh, I've fought, shot two... I've not driven any ghosts at all. Okay. There's gonna be a lot of this going on where I go, What? Other things? And the stuff? There's a box of film on the floor. Okay. I think I can use it with my camera. Oh, he's teaching me how to use the camera. Okay. Uh, yeah, I figured that all out already. Um, so while holding the camera, press that to take, take shooting stance. Uh, enter finder mode. Okay, okay, I can use the square button, whatever that button may be. On a, uh, and to move around. Cool. Cool. It's Spooky Thursdays. He's got to join me for Spooky Thursday, Uzi, Uchi. As everyone does. Hang on, where's the light jog? Okay, cool. We don't have to be here forever. There's an old camera here. I think I can take a shot. I was going to say, don't I have a camera? Uh, it's lot one. Well, let's hope that this isn't broken. Cool. That took a while. So I assume on the PlayStation 2, one of the gimmicks was, Oh, you get to keep the photos! That's cool! Ooh. Yes, I do want to return to the game. I like Little Nightmares. So that's just a save point. Is this entire game in black and white, or is it just because we're in low light settings? Oh, hang on, that's blue, so clearly... Uh, oh, <laughs> you'll see... <laughs> hang on, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I prepared. Uh, could you step down the stairs, please? Um... I've forgotten his name. Um, so once we get out the first room... I'll try the door. That's a good trick. Yeah! I'm not bested by doors. Thank you. The trick is not to prepare too much. There are countless eerie handprints here. Red handprints. Is this blood? I hope this isn't Chris's blood. I mean, I feel like that would be worthy of a photograph. But, uh... He, he, no. So, I'm guessing anything photograph worthy would be noted in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, let's lightly jog. Oh! Like, oh, God! Come back! I wasn't mentally prepared.
you know what? I think this filter here is great. Uh, the ah, I just bit my tongue. Very spooky indeed. Um, I'm just gonna add a light. He might. He's probably not coming back now. I get that. There's uh, a YouTuber called H Bomber Guy, and he does these little documentary videos and stuff. He did a recent one on vaccinations, but he does one on VHS, and one of the points he makes. Well, okay, that's clearly not charged. Do I just... I have no light. Okay, well, we'll charge. No, that is charged. I just didn't put it in one. Anyway. Okay, <laughs> thank you for following the channel. I should have put the snail lower, shouldn't I? Uh, well, you got a red snail. That's a cool snail. Right. Oh, the point I was making was... That, um... Uh... That, uh, he does a... H Bomber Guy does a video on VHS and he says about VHS has this kind of nat natural graininess to it so you can't quite see everything and it just makes everything scarier and I like this game is literally making use of that technique do like so what's weird is this is attached to the left analog stick and my brain now tells me that that, that should always be the right analog stick uh, and that, that might literally be let's see if I can do this quickly uh so there's, hang on, I was going to turn the light on. There we go. Okay, we now have light on my face. We we have spooky light on face if I need one to be extra spooky. I like the historical value of games, so I like playing them in order for that. Oh, hang on, hang on. That's, that's a mirror, isn't it? Okay, I've just found a mirror. There was a dude, though. Don't know where you've gone. Well, you've not missed missed much, Tan. So, um... There's this girl. And she's got a brother. And she's gone to this house to find a dude. She said a lot more stuff, but I... <laughs> I retained none of it. Uh... Okay, that door is boarded up. Lightly jog in this direction. But last time I lightly jogged, I got caught out. Okay, let's have a camera on the ready. Camera on the ready! Okay. Ah, okay, brother disappeared. Flashback to. Thank you very much. Do you know what? I got distracted by the voice actress. Because the voice acting isn't amazing. I think that's fair to say. Okay, it's taught me how to use the camera, but it hasn't told me why I should engage with the system. I just sort of naturally assumed that you should be engaging with the system, because why wouldn't you, right? I'm also a tiny bit worried that I'm being timed? There's a clock there. It's telling me that my gameplay time... Right, let's have a look around. Some stairs. Ooh. I see you. Man looking down. How dare you. Right, so there is... There's some lines on the screen, and I think that's from the bad emulation. We're just going to have to live with that, I think. Uh, obviously, this game never had this resolution when it came out. This resolution's been pumped up to the, to the jams. Oh, hang on. Ooh. There's an old clock here. It's been stopped for a while. There are cobwebs. I do like the how the uh, pulse is working. Very disconcerting. Uh, I did not mean to do that. That's where I came from, right? Yes, it is. Okay, don't want to go there. Let's lightly jog towards the stairs. 
Hang on, we should be clicking on things as well. Lots of antiques here. They might be worth something at some point. Why did they come to this place at night? There isn't thing, anything special in this drawer. A bit judgmental, but... I'll be the judge. Angry... Holy shit, there's an angry man there. Okay, I caught you, angry man. Why are you so angry, angry man? Okay, thank you very much. Yes. I knew... I thought it was a teacher. Those stairs are broken. But he does... I like that he attempts to climb them. Nevertheless. Okay, so, uh... I'm gonna... I'm going to check my, um, photos. Because I think I finally got a good one, right? Yeah, 500 points for Angry Man. Oh, no, no, I got something for Man Looking Down as well. I can't really see the Man Looking Down. Not really clear. And there's those lines, which I, I assume are from the, uh, emu emulation. Okay. I mean, I guess I do want to protect it, but that's not what I'm meant to do. Must protect at all costs. Okay. Without F9. Uh, what does F9 do? Is that like hardware mode? I see. It makes it a lot more... It kind of makes it smoother, to be honest. I'm not sure what this game needs to be in high resolution. Okay, can't go under the stairs. We shall ascend the stairs. Before we do that, I'm going to save my game. I'm going to cheat and just use this system save instead in slot one. Let's climb the stairs. Oh. This isn't Resident Evil. I don't have to click on the stairs. It's a PS2 game. There's a shiny thing. I'm being tempted over with the shiny thing. Being baited. Yes. This notebook. It's Mr. Takamine's. Mr. Takamine, so he did come here. Yeah, but people. There's something strange. They don't look good. Ooh. Say cheese. Super <laughs> shooting ghosts. Dustin makes me feel good. Shooting ghosts. Hold up the camera with a circle button, then press the shutter with the X button to attack ghosts. When the target is inside the circle, power, mystical power, accumulates. 
The damage you inflict on the ghost goes up as you accumulate more power in the camera. So I've just got to stare at the ghost for a second to bring to bring the damage up. Um, is this what I'm getting? A shutterbug moment. Uh, we've all had a shutterbug moment. While you have the ghost in your viewfinder and the circle glows, take a shot. You can inflict heavy damage when you take a shot during the shutterbug moment. Okay, enter the tutorial. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. Uh, I should perhaps be backing away as well. Okay. I might die, uh, as I just realized I have I have a health. But... Haha! <laughs> okay, should I be... Okay, I'm going to just lightly jog to the other side of the room. Get out my camera. Turn around quickly. And take more pictures. Okay. Cool. Now I know why there's a button that turns you around. I captured a ghost with this camera. This camera has the power to expose things the normal eye can't see. I remember the incident from which I learned of its unique power to capture ghosts. Cool. Let's check out, we should have some neat photographs. Let's look at my photos now. Do I get to keep the ones from the fight? Fire placed. The Bound Man. That was apparently the best version of the picture. I mean, I can't really see it. Cool. I've driven a ghost. As was my plan. That's fair enough, Sam. Seems a lot of people are curious. Who am I? So I should say I've never played this before and I know very little about this game. I know that there's a lot of fatal frames. I was going to make a joke. No, not a joke. Uh, actually, I guess that's what the title of the video is. You know, about like it being about a serial killer that goes around with a big frame and just sort of decapitates people. Just goes, take a picture and then flam! Like it's a guillotine. But, uh. I mean, I already know about the camera obscura and stuff like that. Which is just the name of an old camera, right? Anyway. Knock, knock. There's a black padlock on the door. Can I. Why, well, I assume... Oh, yes, that button does not do what I thought it does. Let's jog. Oh, in here. Cool. Not in here? Okay, no, I was just wrong about the direction I was attempting to walk in. I don't think you are in... Camera... Oh, you might have been in camera range. Okay. Who put all these ghosts in this house? The staircase has fallen down. Probably been down for a while. Nothing to do with Takamine. Alright, that's a fairly confident guess you should have took there, but sure. Well, there's... Not that button, John. So a part of me wants that button to be the run, which is why I click there. But we do know there is a person downstairs that we should possibly pursue. Hang on, what was... Oh yeah, that's the black padlock door. Do I have a map? You won't worry about the map yet. I'm worried about dying. Right. I don't know if I've missed an item or if it just wants me to go backtrack. But there's not a lot to search at the moment, so 
It's no skin off my back or nose. This door to the entrance is open, but I'm sure it was just closed a while ago. Okay, something has changed. I uh, this this door here, I guess. It's been two weeks since I last heard from my brother. But he left a note that led me to this place. I felt as though something was calling me here. Oh, I see. So we're now going to be here. Uh... Right. The strangling ritual first night. Yeah, I was gonna say, aren't these games all like schoolgirls? Oh, it's not black and white. Oh, never mind. Right, a little bit of deja vu. I'm just gonna save my game using the system. I don't know. I just I'm worrying about crashes and stuff. I think it's slot two or three. I'll go in slot two. Um, right. So what what I'm gonna very quickly do is I'm just gonna add a button to my um, uh, my stream deck. This thing here. Uh, it just means if I copy this, copy. Paste. Uh, let's move that there. Move that there. Uh, box screen. Won't be a second box screen. Wide screen. I'm going to set that to PS2. Right, so what I want to do, there it's done, is now I can do this very quickly. Uh, like so. Anyway, uh, it's only a little thing, but I like to do little things occasionally. Let's take a sip of Coke while I'm paused and carry on with a spooky, spooky game. Um. Now, oh, I have no film now. Uh, huh. Okay, we have the ability to lightly jog again. Actually, her light jog is slightly better. Uh, it is considerably less scary now that I can see stuff. Some herbal medicine. Lovely. Like, the filter does a really good job. I'm just going to press F... Is it F9? Oh, I can't remember what button it is. Uh, that's the save point, isn't it? We shall save. I'll save them using both systems. It's safer. I've made the mistake of saving only using the internal system and finding four hours worth of progress gone. Yes, I want to return to the end, please. Okay, there's a door there. Oh, I don't have a camera right now, do I? No. Okay, that's, well, that's going to make my job a bit easier.
There are more ropes now. There is a small piece of paper on the floor. It looks like a piece of a notebook. Such notes. September 12th. Now there's another rope. Rope. Oh no, rope. Oh no, rope. And we... I had another rope. Okay, um, I don't remember the lyrics to that song. Uh, because I always think of different songs that have exactly the same rhythmical pattern. Uh, like, need therapy, therapy. Advertising causes me like, but I know that on a rope is an older song. Uh, anyway, uh, I I put a piece of the notebook in my file. <laughs> Let's not um, tonally mess with the spooky atmosphere. Of this game, the word spooky, I appreciate, is also undermining the atmosphere. But um, I assure you, I will try to enter this in as uh, uh, you know, in line with the tone the game wants me to. Uh, These are the ropes, I see. Should I be walking into the ropes? The wall is destroyed. Wood scattered like some powerful animal wreaked havoc here. It's a camera obscura. Something did happen to your brother. Spooky shit happened to your brother. I picked up my brother's... Oh, sorry. I clunked the table with the lights. Picked up my brother's camera and notebook from the floor. Mum's old camera. My brother had this with him. I found a new note inside M Mafuyu's notebook. Uh, this is Mafuyu's notebook. Himaro Mansion Investigation Himaro Mansion was once the home of the large landover that uh, owner did I put a whatever large landowner that controlled vast areas of land they also say that the site held some special significance that had to do with the Shinto rituals of the region I couldn't find any detailed books about these Shinto rituals though the last master of the Himero family, Malign, massacred his entire household. I feel like that's the first thing you should write. That feels like, like right there, bam. That's the headline. Later, another family that tried to live there disappeared. Because of the incidents like these, nobody visits the mansion today, and it lies in ruins. Maybe that's why there aren't any accounts of the Shinto rituals, and why the exact location of the place isn't recorded anywhere. I've had a bad feeling ever since I came to this mansion. I'm leaving notes in this notebook just in case anything happens to me. Itchy tasty. Uh, I've got to find Mr. Takamine and the others fast. I hope it's not too late. It's September 24th. There are many other notes and news articles inside the notebook. Fuck, I did it too slowly. Okay, uh, the rope dude seems... I, I feel like he's hes not a bad soul. But, uh... I've got to remember to be quick. I saw him in the mirror as well. That's annoying. Looks like she's got a bald spot, but no, it's the, uh, the hairpin, isn't it? Right. So you know what I discovered the other day, um, which I'm reminded of? It's something that's really obvious, but like I, I thought it was really clever. Which was uh, Luigi's Mansion has a mirror mode. Uh, so the original Luigi's Mansion. Uh, and I guess all mirror modes are like this. And it's like, it's literally the same game. But it's like it's not like they built a second building. They just project it onto the screen in reverse. 
So all the writing's in reverse as well. There's just not a lot of writing on the screen. And, you know, they change the placement of the monsters. But they, 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 they reverse your controls as well. Because otherwise you'd be walking backwards. So it feels like you're walking forwards. And I just think it's a really clever way to get extra stuff out of your game. I'm guessing that's how they did all the mirror modes for racing games as well. Now that I think about it. but And why it's called mirror mode. But, um... That's nailed shut. I like the tiny little trepidation you get before you open the door. It's a nice touch. Okay, I've got to be quick on the ball with these photographs. Oh, hang on, there's a thing there. I'm being baited. Picking up this item. There's a lion mask on the chest of drawers. It's not a lion, that's... I mean, I guess it's... I forget what it's called. Oh, God, I should know this. Uh... But yeah, it's a like a Chinese style dragon, isn't it? Uh, it's got a cool name, and I've forgotten what it is. It's like a lion dog thing, isn't it? There is a medicine container near the ornamental lion mask. Cool. There's a screenshot right there if I need one. Um, Oh, sorry, this isn't a spooky thing. It's just that I've... The whole cooking food above a kettle, I've only ever seen that in one other thing, and that's Realms of the Haunting, uh, which is, I guess, technically another spooky game. It's certainly set in a spooky mansion, um, sort of. Um, but, uh, yes, there's a character, uh, a, the gardener. He's cooking fish over a kettle uh, in a weird... Haha! -ha! That's bro's shadows! Bro! Uh, I'm assuming bro is, um... Oh, anarchy? Which is sort of, uh... I only know from anime. You get, you, you, you give it, your, your, it's like big bro, but it's kind of, um... In the same way that one of your parents might say, Hey, there's an aunt, and it's, it's just your mum's drunk friend. Uh, like, anarchy can be like any older person who's vaguely, uh, you know, <laughs> like, guiding, guardian-ish. What, how do words work? I feel like you may know what I mean, a hypothetical viewer. Um, I have actual people here, John. You should talk to them. Hello, lurkers. <laughs> talk to you. Did you have drunk women introduced as aunts? Feel free to answer. Um, they weren't all drunk. But they might have been. Let's not talk about that, though. <laughs> there is a box of film in the front of the broken staircase. Ooh, some film. Right, let's go upstairs. Look at this clock. Okay, I've got my uh, finger on the ball. That's not a phrase, is it? Got finger on the pulse? Got my eye on the ball. Well, some dodgy whispering's going on, but... You might not be able to hear that, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to briefly turn the sound up. Okay. I'm going to turn it back down now. It is very, very quiet. I believe that's still locked. Okay, gonna turn the sound down a little. It's locked. I hear something on the other side of the door. Maybe someone's in there. Okay, 
we're gonna make use of I don't know like light jog is convenient and all oh a shiny object so we've got the floor some herbal, herbal medicine lovely stuff hallway man a crap picture but I got him okay like before, this is basically an invitation to walk back downstairs because there's no nowhere else I can go. But I, like, I feel like running anyway is a bad idea because I'm just going to be caught unawares. Okay, let's just change the. Okay, I think it's just because upstairs has uh No, no, no. Right. I'm very much enjoying the <laughs> very bad voice acting. It's very charming. So what I'm looking for is that light in the bottom right hand corner. But there's a shake as well. You just have to be really quick. So we're going back to the mirror, aren't we? Rope guy? No rope guy. Let's try this direction. That's still boarded up. We'll traverse the ropes. And I'm not running at this bit. Oh, welcome back, Explody. I'm not dead. I can't say much about the other people, but uh, I'm not dead. There is, let's save our game. So I've gone all the way upstairs, found a room, people were making noises behind it. I don't have the key. Uh, so I've come back downstairs. I'm getting better, I think, at, 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 at clicking before the ghosts disappear. Yes, I, yes, I want to turn to the game. Oh, I mean, I can show you my photos, can I? So, uh, that's a fireplace. Uh, hang on, that's... How do I know the order? I'm trying to figure out why... But, okay, apparently I've protected that. <laughs> oh yes, I found Bro's Shadow. Found the bound man. Uh, they uh, they said I have to kind of wait while things happen, and it goes wispy woo, wispy woo, wispy woo, wispy woo, woo, and then I shoot. But also, if they touch me, I get hurt. I've only driven one ghost. I don't think that door was open before. Oh, hang on. I've always been able to walk down. Yeah. So I noticed, yeah, so for, for my first fight, I, I ended up running across the room and doing that tur instant turnaround button you have. That, and I can see where that comes in handy. Okay, finger on the B button, ready. I keep thinking she's got a bald spot on the back of her head, and it's it's the uh, oh hang on more ropes. There's always more ropes. No, this is where I came from, isn't it? Sorry, wrong button.
Well, now I know. Now I don't know which way I go. Uh, we've just made our way all the way back to the start, haven't we? I don't. Th Am I allowed down here? Cool. So I feel kind of silly just tracking back to the start, but it is how I progressed the story last time. But I'm going to run. We're going to wait for some spooky noises. I mean, this is a game entirely built out of spooky noises, but you know what I mean. We have our light jog. We've saved our game. Let's go search again. Presumably the bound van is bound by ropes. It's how generally people are bound. Uh, apart from, like, you know, magic spells and shit. Uh, can I click on the mirror? I've not actually tried that. Yeah, I'm the only one shown in the reflected in the mirror. Who could that woman be? Jeez. I shouldn't waste the film, should I? Um... Not strong enough to get that off. Um, right, back through here then. Right, I'll click on the armor and stuff. There's an old suit of armor here. It doesn't seem to be just for show. Seen some hard, hard use. Really? Sell that shit then. There's a. Uh... Hey Luke, what's the Chinese lion dog thing called? Some fish. An ink drawing scroll. Xion. Xion. Thank you. An ink drawing scroll is hanging here. It looks like a woman crying, but it's faded. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I thought it was something else. <laughs> um. Yeah. Google uh, Chinese lion dog thing. Name. The fuck, Siri? Google Chinese lion dog thing. The name. Here's what I found. I'll just show the good Google. I don't want a foo dog. I want to know the name of the, that dog. She. I mean, you are actually close, I think. Chinese guardian lions. She she. Yeah, you are really close. Uh, <laughs> or food dog. It's not going to show up very well, but I'm. The, the, the statues are common. You see them around. The way I think about it is like, if it's a detail in the game, then I should probably. You know, I go. I should recognize it. Because they just said it was a dragon. I'm like, is that a dragon or is that a. <laughs> That a, it's a lion mask. I'm like, That's not a lion. <laughs> That's a shishi. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Ooh, some more film. Yeah, so I didn't click on all these last time because they didn't look like interactable objects. Several pieces of paper in the drawer. It uh, looks like a part of a black notebook. There we go, the black notebook scrap. Plot of my next work. Junsei Takamine. A series of murders in a c country village. Dead bodies turn up one after another. Murders that resemble cruel Shinto rituals of legend in the area. The acts of a man sworn to revenge. And a strange correlation between these acts and the folklore. The man is gradually more and more influenced by the legends. The work will be the story of this man proceeding in parallel with the tales of the local lore. Records of the past discovered after an earthquake. The story gradually blurs the boundary between the present and the past. It's July 24th, about Himuro Mansion. Himuro Mansion is known as the home of the land la large Landover. 
I said that before. There's no such thing as a Landover. Sorry. Himaro Mansion is known as the home of the large landowner. Was he like... I think, is this just poorly translated? Because it just sounds like he's a giant dude who owns land. And I assume he owns a lot of land. Is that what that means? Uh, like he owns large land. Anyway, uh, you know, he controlled this region. But they say it was originally a place a shrine was built for performing a certain Shinto ritual passed down through the generations. But the people of that time kept the ritual a deep, dark secret. They were even forbidden to speak its name out loud. Today, almost no accounts of the ritual exists aside from the smattering of folklore legends. So, I'm going to be vaguely insulting to Japanese stories here and say we're vaguely in um, uh, Stephen King t territory here. The story about an author um, where he... I mean, Stephen King didn't invent this shit, obviously. I'm just, he just does it a lot. Uh, uh, you know, about writing a, ho a horror story about a horror author uh, and then the things that he's researching are real. Uh, and But was he research? Did he invent them? So in that sort of territory. Uh, I found... And I'm sure... I'm sure there are Japanese horror stories that have that thing, right? That this is actually referencing. But, um... I mean, also... Like Stephen King, obviously, he's famous worldwide. But, um, yeah. Uh, I found a, a news clipping inside the notebook. There are news articles inside the notebook. The earthquake the other day destroyed all five mirrors, the holy mirrors, which were the artifacts kept for the centuries in the five shrines. These mirrors represent the five gods' protections over this region. Most commonly known for the five gods' festival held every ten years, when all five mirrors, or mirrors, mirrors, uh, uh, gather in one shrine. The priests of the shrine hope that this isn't a bad omen. I do like that a broken mirror being bad luck is like cross-culture. It's like a really interesting thing. Like, shit, we invented reflections uh, best not break them, right? And I, I know, see, camera stealing your soul is a thing as well. Because, like, fuck! People taking my picture, that's unnatural! And obviously we got over that quick on computers and shit, but... Um, I, uh... I'm reminded, obviously, um... What's... The, the ring, that's the one, yes. This is the logical conclusion of that idea. Uh, and it's curious... How old does technology have to be before you go, oh, yeah, spooky shenanigans can happen with it? Because they've had internet ghosts with a website, and nobody, brought, nobody nobody's scared of an internet website ghost. Like, but a videotape ghost? Oh, it's a spooky videotape. How the fuck magnets work, you know? The digital files we understand quite well. Anyway, uh, I, put, I put that shit in my file, I did. We're getting lots of lurkers. Nobody's sticking about for my commentary, though. Uh, I need to be more spooked. I could be, I could be more spooky. My spooky face. Uh, but uh, lots of antiques here. It might be worth something at some point. I mean, it probably doesn't help that I'm still like in the first area, and I've been here for ages. The books are falling apart. I can't even read the covers. Probably because I just went through the first time without clicking on anything. Oops. The clock stopped at 11.45. It's been stopped for a while. There are cobwebs. Oh, yes. Squeaky stairs. There's a broken partition screen here. Oh, there's the old folding screen here. I missed this. Oh, I missed the message. I, mean, I still don't have the key to this. There's 
There's an old folding screen here. It might have been pretty once, but it's faded now. I'm interested in this window. There isn't anything in the drawers of the chest. Okay, I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm missing the key, but I don't know where it is. We'll run, though. I'm sure I've missed something obvious. I'm obviously supposed to just unlock that door, but like, let's find out where the key is. Uh, I can't see anymore. It's not shaking in, in ages. But I'll I'll have a look. Dust has been disturbed around the sunken fireplace. So yes, I might need some help because I'm being dumb right now and I can't see what to do. Oh, hang on. Might be here. Candle? door won't open as if something is holding it. it seems sealed by a powerful force uh, there's a person something the size of a person beyond the lattice hmm. I mean I've not seen any wibblies not, not for a while now and I don't know if this is some sort of interaction I'm supposed to have Angry looking mask on the wall. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, I guess that there was someone, someone underneath the fireplace, but apparently I didn't capture him. And there was a hallway man. And there was Bro Shadow. And there was the bound man. Does that help? Hello? Is there like a map? Uh, I'll check upstairs with the map. I mean, I might have glitched out, or I might have just forgotten something really obvious. Yeah, it's entirely possible I've broken it, right? Uh, freestanding panel thing.
Well, this. I mean, that's the, I think that's the last thing I did, but I didn't get any credit for it. So maybe it's broke because I didn't get any credit for it. Oh, hang on. I'm not, it's not showing anything. Should I try and load and see if I missed anything? Right, I'll let me I'll save my game. Oh, well, if we if we check my my camera, that's that's the last shot I took. It's yeah, it's this picture here. It's what I'll do that I didn't get any credit for. Is I'll save my game. On slot three, then I'll load slot two. We'll see how far back I am. About twenty-five minutes, unfortunately, but nothing happened in that time. Nothing happened in that time. I don't have a camera yet. So we've read all these already. And capture the rope guy this time. We saw this already. We have a camera now. Yeah, we got man on beam this time. So, like, we we gained an extra picture. So I'm going to save this as four because we're now we're now doing better than we did before technically. So, but that's because I know where he's going to be. But I'm just going to have to save more often, I think. Let's throw shadow again. We'll save that as five. Uh, it's not five. Right, I did get a message as well. 
down upstairs. We've almost caught up with ourselves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save here uh, because I think this is where, if there was a break, that's where it was. Let's save it on 7. We'll press F9 just in case. Sure, there was something there before. Let's click on that. Like, obviously, this version doesn't have me clicking on most of the things. We'll make sure we have. The old folding screen. Okay, yeah. Oh, there's a door behind the panel. Oh, so I was just stuck. Fair enough. Um, I guess we'll keep this version of events because I got a better picture of the uh, rope guy this time. So yeah, so it wasn't that it was broken. It was just that I was being dumb and didn't see a door. I guess that was a clue, right? No, probably you probably shouldn't murder the ghost that just helped you. Uh, Alright, so this is what you were telling me, right? In Finder Mode, you can see things that can't be seen with the naked eye. Try taking a photo with the con in a controller and you hear strange noises. Oh, these wispy woos, okay. It's a door, no folding screen in the photo. A door appears where the screen should be. But I had to click on the door to find it. How heavy is the screen? There seems to be a hidden door behind the folding screen. All those lurkers are watching me for ages as well. Going, he's just not clicking the door. Should I say anything? No, we shan't. <gasps> A wispy woo. Hey, whiny. Right, I'm going to save my game. Oh, fair enough. 
We're not on slot eight. I mean, I wasted like forty minutes. So, if we look at the time, because I loaded, a, I loaded. I'm only on thirty-five minutes now because I loaded. I was on an hour and I loaded a twenty-five minute video. Because once I went downstairs, I clicked on the loads of things. And bear in mind, I literally didn't click on anything the first time around. So, I was just gonna slowly going through taking in the atmosphere. The only bad thing about that is that me going through the place several times has sort of demystified it slightly. There's a small piece of paper on the chest. Looks like a news clipping. Darn. Late yesterday, a human body with no limbs was found in Himero Mountain, located in the southern region of the prefecture. The body's hands, feet, and head were all torn off. The police are investigating the case as both a murder and an accident. How did that accidentally happen? He must have tripped and hit all of his limbs very heavily upon sharp objects well not even sharp because they're ripped off he must have slipped and had all his limbs in vices and was sort of moving fast enough for, for the momentum to rip them all off and then it, it, it kind of threw the vices away uh, anyway the body has not been identified but is believed to be a man around the age of 30 the police is also taking into the consideration the fact that a body, mutilated in the same manner, was found in the same location 15 years ago. Ah, oh, not all these accident-prone people. I put the news article in my file. There's a pretty ornament dish on the chest of drawers. The Wandering Man. Oh. Well, that was a weird noise. You might not be able to hear it right now, but it's going... Like that. I'm going to save this. Uh, I don't want to save it too often because, like, that sort of takes some of the fear factor, fear factor out of the game. But I also don't want it to break. Okay, can you hear it? I'm going to turn it up for you. Why you listen to it? I got a message on my phone that I'm gonna. Okay. Let's turn it down again. Okay, hopefully it's a friendly backwards talking man. There's a box of film underneath the window. It's a Type 37 film. film. Looks like a new roll of film. I wonder if my, my Fuyu left it here. Oh, never going in that room. All right, fine. Let's go into... Call me? Uh, I can't remember the way I came in. Okay, I came in this way. Okay, got it. Is that a door? Oh, hang on. I do have a map. Oh, they're locked. I believe. Hello? Right, cool, let's leave that uh, voice to itself. Carry on down the corridor. I think it wants me to go in here first. There's something on the floor. Some herbal medicine. Can't open it. Can I light these lights? 
It's held by a powerful force. Oh, okay. Oh, so am I looking for more wibbly woos? I think I'm going to check that room again. Maybe. Hmm. Oh no, I just didn't click the right door. Hello? Huh? Ah. Oh crap. Sorry, I was really slow. And a proper ghost story, aren't we? I found a tape recorder in the closet. Now we can listen to this wonderful sound just forever and ever and ever. It's covered with dust, but it seems to work. Audio tape has been left inside the tape recorder. The white tape. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's stopped in the middle. Cool. And I noticed a door opened. Let us... Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Why not? I'm gonna slave on. I uh, save on slot zero. Hello. An old kimono hangs here. It's faded and dusty, but the red lining is still vivid. It's very Scooby Doo, that voice. Even though Scooby Doo actually has, like, really good voice acting. I don't know, like, there's something very Scooby Doo. S -s ah. Maybe that instead. Oh, kimono chest. is a thing that exists. It looks like a small mirror stand, but the mirror is missing, and the drawer is locked. Did I...
Oh, not that button, John. We'll come back to it. No, I knew I'd be baited by a shiny thing at some point. Why would you turn away? There's a spooky noise over there. Okay. I'm just going to not pay attention to it. He seems to be asking for help. Oh god. I got a core shot. Okay. Could I have helped him instead of doing that? The camera began to glow with mystical power. Or is that helping him? The camera's seal. No, I think I had to do that. Okay, cool. I'm still not great at that, but running away is a good idea after you shoot him once. You can acquire mystical power. Okay, I feel like mystical power is an untranslated word. Ah, oh, it's, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, um, something that probably means mystical power. But, like, I feel like they could have made that a cool word or just kept the original word. By damaging ghosts, select camera from the menu, triangle button to access the power-up screen. Uh, unlock the seal. Uh, okay, cool, I power up. Auxiliary functions. When you unlock auxiliary function seal, you may enable many special attacks to use the enabled auxiliary function. Press the L1 button while in shooting stance. The number of auxiliary functions limited to your spirit stones. So be frugal. Something coming from the mirror stand. Okay, I'm gonna say it, okay. It just seems, it feels like somebody didn't translate it. Uh, uh, properly, or... Are there even these? Basic performance. Bonus function. Is so, like, stock. Special function. Like, it didn't, like, that doesn't say bonus, it says auxiliary down the bottom. But, like, it's fine. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's it smacks of having the most basic translation. Uh, so are these stronger? Yeah, that's got higher. So look, look, it says higher exorcismal power. Somebody was doing translation properly. Like it's never used that term in the game yet, but. Okay, so I can. I've, oh, that's what my score is for. I can't. Pressure pushes ghost back. Slow slows the ghost's movement. C makes ghosts more visible. Paralyzed stops movements. And I can't afford any of these, so I don't know why it's telling me about them. Oh, that's nice. I have no stones. Oh, and no bomb. Ah, uh, fair enough. Cool. Why did it teach me this when I totally don't have enough to do anything with it? Maybe I could do better. We're going to have to encounter a lot more ghosts. That's not a mirror, is it? That's a, um... That was the shiny thing I was trying to pick up before. Oh, this is going to be the padlock key, isn't it? There's something underneath the window. Nope, it's the white tape too. Uh, I'll look at that later. It... 
Oh, that. Okay. Oh, uh, I know that's the Shishi. Something shows in the photo. Uh, it looks like the lion mask near the sunken fireplace. Because now I think... Oh, it says lion mask because somebody didn't know what that was. Okay, so we know where to go back to. Put the photo in my file. Just want to double check over here. Like there's an area. There's an, or is that where I came from? That's where I came from. There's a couple of... Oh, there's a door. Is there a door? That looks like a door to me. Hmm. Right, well, I guess I should go back to Lion. Still not sure why this is doing that. Perhaps I need a stronger... Because it wants me to be close as well. Oh, it's woman in kimono. Cool. There, I got it. Cool, we'll go back. We'll, we'll save our game officially. That'll be nice. Uh... Can I go through there? Oh, yes. Uh... Do I... How are you still making noises? I picked you up already. Found another tip for you. Uh, item. My tip two. September 9th, nine forty p.m. It seemed dangerous to walk through the mountain at night, so we decided to spend the night here and continue our work. I've been through several rooms already. Unlike the exterior, the interior is still in quite good shape. A little earlier, I thought I saw a white shadowy figure of a woman in the hallway near the entrance. I'll keep track of such sightings and publish them in a later account. September 9th, 5.40 p.m. The mansion was nowhere to be seen on the map, so we finally had to ask the locals how to find it. They told us that Himuro Mansion had been empty for several decades now. The same ones who told us where it was also warned us not to come here, which was quite disconcerting. Disconcerting. Cool. Sorry, I read them in the wrong order, didn't I? Because I thought the first tape was some dude going... But no, that's just the room. Uh, where's the way out? Okay, it's this way. Okay, I'm obviously going to see a ghost... Before I get to the Shishi. Guess who didn't save recently? Oh, no, no. Wow, 
I didn't die. <laughs> Okay, I'm hoping that's maybe save points to heal me as well, otherwise I might be a bit screwed. But let's save my game on two. I save because I don't plan to load. Yeah, I did. so I knew there was going to be a fight because that's where you'd put one, but I didn't realise it'd be immediate because I obviously wasn't prepared, I just walked into a ghost. Also, turns out ghosts can grab you and you can walk into them. Should I heal now, or should I just go to the save point and hope that heals me? I'll check the map. I thought he dropped a thing. Got some herbal medicine I could take. Okay, before I interact with the lion. Thank you, door. I don't think it's going to heal me, but I'm going to try just in case. You know what, that was the room with the, with the sick one in. Where is it? It's somewhere about here. Yeah, I know that's the line. Where's the save point? Map! Oh, it is in the other room. Okay, fair enough. Right. Oh, it was worth a try. Let's take some medicine. And some more medicine. Okay, that was a bit of a waste, but... We're learning, I would like to say my Does it cost me a camera slot? 